What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do a video for you, and you, and you, and I, you, okay? First off, I want to say thank you for joining me on another episode of See What Rita's Cooking. I hope you'll see something on this video that'll make you click on other videos. If this is your first time well uh, watching me, welcome. Glad to have you here with me today. This is going to be a sides video. Um, and y'all, I'm using something that, honey... I broke the internet with when I used my corn the last time. So I'm going to see if y'all love this corn just as much um, as y'all love that corn. Um, like I said, it's a side. Um, this I'll get all the rules and regulations out of the way, the semantics and all of that stuff. Make sure you give me a like for this video. Click that like button on this video. Make sure that you have your notification bells clicked so that when I do a video, you'll know. Because right now, y'all, I'm, I'm in the throes of it, okay? We successfully have finished my daughter's bridal shower, which y'all know, 90% of it, 80%, I'm going to say 80% I did. All the favors, putting all the little stuff on the stuff, y'all, I was tired. I was tired. So that was a big success. We did that. It turned out really beautiful. I'll insert some pictures somewhere around here so y'all can see. Um, and now we just got the wedding to get out of the way. Um, that shower is a blur. And I promise y'all, I've been working on and having stuff sent to my house since January. And that, that shower, I don't remember nothing. I don't remember nothing. I think I sat down 10 minutes, 15. I'm going to give myself 15 minutes. But the, for the most part, I was here, there, and everywhere. Now, um, y'all, uh, y'all know me. Y'all know who y'all get when y'all come over here. I'm not changing. So... You're going to either love me like I am or you're going to find somebody that you love. That's what you're going to do, okay? But I'm not going to even talk about that long. I'm going to make this very good uh, video, this very good size. I think y'all going to like it. Now, y'all have heard of potato au gratin. Y'all have, uh, you know, it's like scalloped potatoes instead of saying au gratin. I don't want to know. I don't Is au gratin and scallop the same? But anyway, so y'all know I've been on this thing. I ain't been eating no beef. Now, this is not no healthy, <laughs> no healthy meal. I just would say, this is not no healthy side. This is very indulgent, but I'm going to eat it anyway. Listen, I'm going to eat it and buy the shoes, okay? Get the shoe. If the dress don't fit, I'm going to buy the shoes. I'm going to be looking bum. If, some, if this is tight, the shoes going to be bum, the earrings going to be bum, okay? Because I'm going to eat this this week. I'm just going to do a little extra stuff on the tread this week, on the pillow, okay? And uh, we're going to keep making, making it do what it do. So what you're gonna need for sure, you guys. Let me. I'm gonna put you guys down. Uh, my little, uh, what do you call that? My little arm broke on my thing, so I have to twist it and let it down. So I don't want to make y'all dizzy. You're down, okay? So we're gonna get down on the food, you guys. I know I'm all up in y'all grill. How you doing? Okay. So we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using for this corn. Now I'm just gonna be using. Let's go down over here. Let me stop y'all for a minute, Chad. It's just rude. Okay, so I have some corn. This is two bags, 16 ounces bags of frozen corn, you guys. I have some crumbled up bacon, okay? And I have me some tricolor bell peppers and some green onion. Just the white and um, all the way up until the tips, okay? And then I have me some variety flavors of... of of cheese I have me some gouda I have me some um, pepper jack and I have me some Italian blend then I have me some heavy whipping cream oh look the top went wonkers and then I'm glad that didn't fly everywhere and then I have me a little secret secret sauce that I'm gonna be putting on the top y'all this is some crumbled up bacon some crumbled up um, onion tips like some little small pieces of onion and I fried that bacon up and um, those uh, onion tips and then I have me some fresh um, green tops of the green onion okay and then I'm gonna of course on the top I'm gonna use mozzarella so we can get that pull that we love when we have anything that's uh, our scalloped potatoes and stuff like that so we're gonna go over to the skillet right quick hold on 
Okay, y'all, so we're at the skillet, and today I had Jethro out. I used Jethro to do a whole package of, um, of bacon. So I had Jethro out, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to mix everything else up in Jethro. He's big enough. He's strong enough. He can handle it. Okay, so what we have right here, you guys, I took a, this spoon right here, okay, and I took all about a spoonful of that grease from that entire uh, thing of uh, bacon and I left me about a tablespoon or two in the bottom okay to that I'm going to be adding me some um, butter okay about the same thing about you a good heaping tablespoon of that I'm using my Jethro spoon as well as you can see now we're going to turn this up a little bit and we're going to just let this marry, okay? Butter and bacon fat. Anytime I use bacon, honey, it just don't make no sense to go and fry that bacon, get, get popped and all that stuff, and don't use those bacon drippings. That's just nonsense. Don't you agree? <clears throat> So while this is melting, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to start adding my veggies in here. Now, you guys, you can just do onions here. You can do spinach and onion. You can just do whatever your heart's de desire. Because this is so creamy and decadent, I said, let me throw me some kind of form of vegetables in here. So I'm going to throw these bell peppers, okay? And these uh, green onions in here. You can use white onions, yellow onions. Whatever you want to do, you know, just be creative and make it your own. Or you can follow just what I'm doing because why? It's going to be bomb and you know it, okay? That's why. So now we're just going to marry this just a little bit. Let's do a little bit of oochie, oochie, coochie, coochie. Okay. We just want to get a cook on them. This is going to go into the oven. So basically what we're doing here is we're meshing everything. We're letting all of this stuff fill on each other, get a little hoochie-coochie, so all these uh, flavors will blend, and then we're going to be putting this whole thing in a, um, a baking dish, and we're going to be putting it in an oven so it can just finish up in the oven, okay? Okay, so we got that looking all good. Now, right here, you guys, I'm going to push these vegetables out of my way. Okay. I'm going to take me about a tablespoon, a Jethro tablespoon of flour. Okay. And I'm just going to go right down in here into this with that. This is just going to give me somewhat of a roux. Not really, but kind of, you know. This is just going to help. I know y'all are cringing with me using this spoon, and I really shouldn't be doing this. But this, this is the old, my old boy, old Jethro. I, I do him, you know. I do them like I want to do them, and he just take a licking and keep on ticking. He's not going to do nothing. He's going to hang on in there with me. Now I'm going to add my corn. Okay. I have, I forgot to put an ingredient out there, you guys. I do need a cup, at least a cup of um, chicken broth or stock, whichever one you prefer. But for now, we're just gonna let this fill on each other, get all in there. Okay. Let me get my chicken broth.
Now I'm going to put a cup of chicken broth in here, you guys. That's going to cool everything down, so we're going to turn it fire up some. Hmm, I'm throwing corn out the, out the pan. Y'all know me. Smells so good. Now I'm going to season this, you guys, with my seasonings that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to be using some white pepper, some salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. And you know, I always start off with at least a tablespoon. So y'all can eyeball that, uh, your seasonings. You know what's good in your house for your lifestyle, for your health or whatever. But just some white salt, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and white pepper, okay? Just those. That's all I'm doing, okay? Just a little bit of white salt because we are using cheese. And, um, you know, cheese has some good fat in it as well. I mean, some good salt in it as well. So, just enough salt to pop out your flavors, okay? Another thing I'm going to put in here, you guys, at this point, is I'm going to put me a little bit of sugar in here. Just about a Jethro tablespoon of that as well. about out of this sugar, so I'll just use the rest of this. It's a little less than a tablespoon, that's okay. Need to refill my little thing, that's my coffee one. Okay. Now from here, you guys, we're gonna add our bacon, okay. Now, I, like I said, I did a whole, um, an entire package of bacon, but like I said as well, I have two um, 16 ounce uh, bags of uh, corn, you know? So if you're not uh, making that much, you know, just adjust, okay? I'm gonna put this in here. Stir that up all pretty. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to start dropping me some cheese in here, you guys. And I'm just going to drop a combination of all of my cheeses. When I'm done with this inside part, I'm probably going to be done use about two cups of cheese, cheeses combined, okay? Just going to drop it in here. Okay. Oh, Lord. Child, I'm just dropping stuff today. What is my problem? I don't know. Honey, gonna have to clean up this kitchen today. Which I always have to clean it up anyhow. As I said before, these cheeses are Gouda. Okay, I got some Gouda cheese. I have some Italian blend cheeses. And I have some um, Pepper Jack. I wanted my cheeses to be light colored okay i want the corn to pop out i want the um uh, those uh peppers to pop okay so now we're going to put about a cup of heavy whipping cream you guys this is the gotcha gotcha and this is what is going to make it super creamy and delicious okay now we just let this pan do its thing okay don't they look good already you guys Like I said, this is not on my diet menu, okay? But like last night when I wanted that ice cream from Brahms, honey, I just got it. And today I wanted this. I'm just getting it, you know? And then I just know what to do this week. I got to do salads. I got to, you know, stay on the tread a little longer, you know? But I just don't deny myself nothing. Life is just too short. 
So I just don't deny myself, you know? I just make adjustments. That's all you can do. That's all you can do in this life of sin, honey. So now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a taste. See if I like that flavor. Mm-hmm. That's good, y'all. Yes. Like I said before, I've done this with um with some spinach. This is just corn gratin, gratin, however you want to say it. I think it's gratin, but it's just like a potato or gratin, um, you know, but it's just with corn. And it's just a something different, you know. So now I'm going to turn this down, you guys. The last thing I want my cheese and stuff to do is to get, you know, clunky. When I come back, we're going to put this in a, a baking dish. And I'm going to show you how, what I do. I'm going to put my mozzarella on the top. And we're going to put it in the oven. When it get done, we're going to put our crispy onions and stuff on there. And it's just going to be bomb.com. So hold on. Okay, you guys. So we have our little gratin, corn gratin done. I got it seasoned like I want to. I wanted some more heat in there. And I, was, I kept saying, what was I going to do for the heat? Now, I knew I had the pepper jack cheese. But I meant to put me some jalapenos in here, you guys. But I didn't take them out, so my little 55-year-old brain didn't think about them. But this is a 9 by 13 pan, you guys. It has been sprayed, and I'm just going to pour my gratin down off in here. I can't pick up Jethro, so I'm going to have to spoon it in until I can get some of this out. When I can get some of it out, then I'll pick it up for you guys. I, I'm sorry that you're having to watch me. Spoon. Just beat me up, y'all. Just beat me up. This is so delicious. It's so delicious. Yeah, yeah. It's going to bake up. I'm going to bake it for about... It's pretty creamy. I want it to stay creamy, of course. But um, uh, I do want it to get more of a a gratin consistency. Well, I don't know what that means, but I don't want it to be this wet, you know. So I'm gonna bake it uncovered for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Now on the top, you guys, I'm gonna be putting some mozzarella because you know mozzarella bring that pull. That's the pull cheese. It's a white cheese and it's a pull cheese. You know, it's got that pull. It bring all the cheese to the yard, okay? That's what the mozzarella do. Okay? That's a whole package. That's just eight ounces, okay? For that pull effect, okay? Ooh, I glunk one right there. I just glunked it in there. Just clunk, clunk. So I'm going to get some more of this cheese over here. Sorry for reaching. These are my other ones that I had. My Gouda, my Harlem folks and stuff. Ain't no use in leaving none of it. My work, I going to use it out. Be done packed it up and use it on what? Use it where you're using it. Let it be used by the Lord. I hope this video finds you guys in good health. I hope it's a good day. Whatever day you see this on, may God bless you and keep you is my prayer. We are living in some, some turbulent times, aren't we? So when people don't believe in God, I just don't know what to, I don't know. We don't really have too much more to talk about because <laughs> he everything for me. And the only reason why I'm still here. To do all the stuff that I have to do and take care of all the people that I have to take care of and still be able to do what I need to do. God is good. So I hope that's the that's the kind of feeling you have and when you're watching this, you know. And if it's not, you know, all is well, God is good, and if He don't get you over it today, He will get you through it. Just pray your way through it, baby.
Pray your way through it. Where is mine? Where is? I'm sorry, I got some. I'm looking for my parsley flakes. I don't think. Y'all know I got some parsley flakes somewhere. Okay, I don't have time to look at them. When we get back, um, this will be out the oven. And we're going to see what we come up with. We're going to put our crispy stuff on the top of there. Crispy onions. Ooh, look at that. We're going to put them crispy onions. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, I could just sit up and eat those crispy onions. Can y'all? And that bacon. And we're going to be done. Be back in a minute. Well, y'all, it's ready. I've already put some of my little toppings on there with my crispy onions and my bacon bits. I've already done some. It's going to drop me some more on there. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It's so... I'm so ready. Are you ready? Yes, look at that. You guys, I just want to thank you. This is the end result, okay? Now, it doesn't have as much pull as I wanted it to have, but I may not have let it sit long enough. But let's just let me let you see how it looks on the inside look at that oh my gosh so delicious you guys this is corn gratin and that's what we're doing next time on see what Rita's cooking you guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video don't forget to like, comment, share. Thumbs up is a like. Comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget, you don't get these recipes unless you're subscribed. And don't forget, your food ain't all the way live until it's been retitized. I just cannot test this out. I got to go get on the Peloton before I even take a bite of this deliciousness. See you guys next time when we see what Rita's cooking. Bye.